so your mower maybe will go a little bit and it won't pull up a hill I'm gonna show you exactly what to look for and what happens if you don't do what I'm gonna show you we're gonna learn some stuff today let me show you what's going on now this red craftsman this is your go gear okay now it is set up just like a Husqvarna same identical identical machine now of course that applies only to the older model craftsmen's which are made by ayp the same thing as the husqvarna the new craftsmen's are made by you guessed it mtd all right we got two cameras rolling so you'll be able to see what's going on i got to sit sideways because there is no seat this is going to be noisy so i want you to watch my feet I mean, my, my, my right hand and then my left brake pedal. You know what, you, you know what I mean. Just, just watch. Did you see me pull back on my heel? Watch this. I hit the garage door. What it's doing is slipping. I'm going to show you why. All right, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to push this brake pedal. There's a piece down in here. That piece right there. You see all that debris back in there behind it, all that grass and sand? Now, I'm going to move this brake pedal. Y'all watch what happens. See, we're sitting back against that grass and sand and stuff and it builds up well what happens that puts some extra slack in your drive belt causing it to slip slightly if you don't keep that all clean back there and you end up burning your belt up so you need to just reach in there with your hand and wipe it out hold on now that's a little more better somebody needs to pressure wash this thing it ain't gonna be me but anyway Let's, uh, now that you know what causes the problem, let's go inside and we're going to show you how quick and easy it is to put a drive belt on one of these. Stick around. Now, so most of these have the numbers right there. See ground drive belt? 130969, I think it says. Anyway, just look that up. Or look under the seat and look for this sticker right here. There's your model number, 917-288-515. And you could go to somewhere like Parch Tree and look up to get the correct belt. All right, for the first two things, set your parking brake. Lower your deck all the way down. Now, if you don't have a lift like this, you can completely remove your deck. It's only a few, a few pins like that in the cable, and uh, into the whole deck will come off. We're going to pop this loose, and we're going to go ahead and take our belt, our deck belt loose. And then all I'm going to do, lift the deck, and right there. Now I've got access to everything under here. Now these pulleys, these idler pulleys here, here, and here, they are all plastic. And I want you to check them that they are all smooth and that they're not just plastic. Sometimes they hang up, they'll get flat spots in them, especially this flat pulley. And I'll show you what you mean. So that one is flat, whereas these other ones are a V in here. So let's get this out of our way. Now let's pull this main pulley. You can take this other bracket off. There's a bolt back in here and take that bracket off. It's a little aggravating sometimes. You're gonna need an impact, maybe need an impact. Pull that off and then grab this, snatch, boom. Sometimes these are a booger to get off of there and you might have to use an air hammer on your bolt head uh, to get them off. Now when you go to put this back on the crankshaft, I want you to do something extra. 
get you some never seize, anti seize, whatever. And this stuff, I promise you, you're gonna get it on you and you're gonna look like the daggum silver surfer or something when you're done. Happens to me every time. I'll put it on the crankshaft right before I put that pulley on and maybe not make too much of a mess. So now all we'll do is take this belt, push it down through here, just pull it out. And if you were doing a John Deere, you would be removing your steering gear and all to get that doggone thing out. Now watch these little clips here, they just real thin metal. Boom, boom. This one, most of the time, you can walk it off. Okay, make sure that y'all can see that. And boom, just that simple, folks. Now we gotta go down and work at the transmission. Now, as you can see, hold on, my air gun's leaking. All right. See that little keeper right there? Flop it off. And flop it off. And then work this belt around the top of the pulley. I'm trying to do this one-handed, y'all. Stupid belt, Stoop, stupid head. Come on off of there. Hold on, let me set you up. Now, hopefully I'm not gonna block the camera too bad. Just spin that fan around with your hand and it'll walk that belt on off of there. There you go, belt is off, that easy. This is the belt I'm gonna be using from Rotary, 8511. I'd like to check the new one against the old one, so I'll put my foot down and pull them up. Yep, that'll work. Now let's get our new belt in. I am sure my shoulders are gonna block and you ain't gonna be able to see and somebody's gonna be fussing and whatnot. I'm just gonna walk this bad boy around, flip it and flop it right up in there. Make sure you get it behind those two deals right there. That's your belt keepers, okay? All right, we are on the pulley. We're gonna walk this one back on. Boom, just like that. Now we're gonna grab our belt. Feed it up through here. There it comes out the top. Now what we want to do, come on. Put this one right behind that keeper. This one right behind that keeper. And now we're up to the crankshaft. It's just too doggone easy. Now we're gonna put some, make it come off easy for the next guy juice on the crankshaft. Did I say that right? Yeah, make it come off juice. Never sees, anti-sleeves, whatever you want to call this stuff. It's silver. How about that? Okay, we're going to line up our key thing right there that's imprinted in this shaft with the crankshaft. Kind of get it in the area. Loop your belt. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm putting the belt up on this top pulley and just work it around like that, be sure it goes in, and then just give her a turn and she'll fit. See, it's right in that keyway. There we go. Let's pop a bolt in. Just like that. Hold your ears. Well, I'm gonna use my blower, or you can get your leaf blower or whatever. While you're in here, get up in there and just blow all this junk and crap out from in there, okay? All right, so let's stick our rod back in, just like that. I'll lift the jack up, move the belt, hook her in, hook her in, hook her in. Put our clipper doodle on there. Take our belt around the hook, around the pulley, around that. Well, I tell you what, too easy. Well, let's see what's gonna happen. Y'all think I can pull a wheelie? I don't know. Almost. <laughs> She'll pull now. That look like a wheelie to me. About that much appreciate you guys and gals watching please give us one of those thumbs up hit that subscribe button for us share these videos with your fans when you click subscribe don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified when i put a new video out guess i better go find a hood for this thing I'll send this man to the car wash when he leaves here i gotta go fix another machine see ya